Hello everybody and welcome back to another Dark and Darker video. Today we are talking about some Dark and Darker drama. So the drama we're talking about is that all of Reddit hates Mendo Kusai now. You might wonder, how does an entirety of a social media platform hate Mendo Kusai? Well, first off, it's because Reddit attracts a specific type of person, what you might call the casual gamer. And Mendo Kusai is not exactly a casual gamer. So what Mendo did that they're so angry at him for is there was this patch, patch 14, right? That re-added weapon damage on armors, it made it so that rolls could be high again. Every roll was capped out at one before other than the percent rolls as far as I know. And these Redditors really, really liked it being that way before because them in gray gear, they would actually have a pretty good chance against someone in full purples or anything like that. And on top of that, there was also the shop changes, which made it easier to get gear. And they kind of just want everything to be a bit easier than it was before. And they want a little less stomping of the Timmies. Now, I agree with the Redditors there that I want a little less stomping of the Timmies. But where we were at before, before this patch happened, the gear was not meaningful. There was just not much to do on the upper end of the game. You get about more than, say, 10 hours in and you should be at pretty much max gear because you could buy purple items for about 200 gold and you got to see what rolls they had beforehand which made it really easy to just pick out the ones that have really OP rolls and why ever go for legendaries then? Because you can have purples with the best rolls or you could farm what? High roller bosses for 12 years so you can get a legendary with a good roll once? Why would anyone do that? Now, what Mendo asked for here is he wanted items to be buffed up a little bit. He wanted a little bit better rolls on items and things like that. And apparently a dev was in a stream as he was asking for that. And so now they're blaming him for patch 14, which I just think is absolutely super dumb because maybe he did complain for all that. And as far as I've seen, I've seen some Twitch clips. It does seem like he did do that. But the thing is, when you're blaming him for something that's outside of his power, that is just absolute foolishness. He does not have power to actually go in and change any of these lines of code in the game or anything like that. And so that don't make much sense at all. And so, be reasonable here, guys. What's the real reason we're hating Mendo? And it seems to me like the real reason the writers hate Mendo is because... Oh, he was a, a little tad whiny about it. He was a little tad whiny. And the reason why he would be a little tad whiny about it is because this is his entire income. And if the game starts being not fun for the more engaged players who would watch his Twitch stream, then his viewership's going to go down and his livelihood is going to go down. So he's going to feel very emotionally attached to all of this and very emotionally attached to the balance of the game. Hello, sir! Would you like a ring, sir? Here, in this chest, sir. Oh, I dropped it. Give me a second. Sir! I don't think he has VoIP on. Well, I was trying to give that guy the ring, because it's no use to me. And I was perfectly fine to honor Crouchies there. It seems like people are more likely to honor your Crouchies when you're playing on Fighter. And if you're playing on Rogue, don't even try for Crouchies because no one's going to honor them because your class is for little rats who stab people in the back. That's how you get kills. And that's just how it is. But let's go back to talking about Mendo. The reason why he's so emotionally attached, it, it's attached to his income, of course. And he really wants to see this game do well because that's also attached to his income. So if the game starts doing better, he's going to earn more money. And we need to keep that in mind anytime these streamers are involved here because they want the game to do well. Now, also, Redditors were making the argument that they will just hop on the next best train. Like, uh, you know, if Greed is Good starts doing well, then they're going to hop on that train. And I absolutely agree with that. Anyone who thinks Greed is Good is going to go anywhere far, I think they have severe brain damage because that game is horrible. If you looked at it at all, that game is just a cheap ripoff of Dark and Darker, and it's just stuttery garbage. I don't know why anyone would think that's ever good. Honestly, I think it's probably a push from Greed is Good's marketing team. They're probably um, astroturfing the Reddit quite a bit. 
And there's a guy up here, and I've got some candy corns. Candy corns are some big money, and you can farm goblin caves and just run out of here with some base treasure and some candy corns, and you're gonna make some good money. Hello, friend. And the level one to 15 lobbies are so much friendlier. Uh, these people are a little bit better adjusted than the uh, higher level lobbies, it seems. I just don't think blaming Mendo for this is the right way to go because there's no clear head to have on this situation when it's tied to your income. And the only people who really should have a clear mind on this would be the devs themselves. They need to take a look at it and look at the stats that they have and go, okay, is this good for the game? Is this not good for the game? Can we make this work? And I think they're testing things out. So getting a little too heated right now over a video game in early access that is testing things very quickly does not make much sense, especially because this game is not like Escape from Tarkov or anything else like that. And I'm going to heal there. I thought my shield would block that, but he went right over my shield somehow. That hurt real bad. This game is not like Escape from Tarkov where it's early access in name only. They are still actually adding things and they're not just here to farm us they have been changing things every like day or two and i think if you can't see that you're probably a little bit too emotionally invested in the two days of playing you get to play between changes now last i checked these candies are worth 15 gold each those are worth more than the rest of the treasure i picked up yeah and if you have an issue with the way the devs are balancing the game they have an option on the forums where you can make a suggestion Go ahead and make that suggestion on there then. There's no point in crying on Reddit or crying on the Discord. I don't think they look at any of that. They might, but if they are, they're doing something very foolish. But I'm certain that they're looking at the suggestions. Add those suggestions. And I think the even bigger thing here as to why people are getting emotionally invested in this change is because... The thought behind it is it's going to last this way for at least a good two weeks before another wipe happens because last time they didn't revert the plus three all they didn't like change those into plus one all items or anything like that and i think if the developers were to implement something where they could change items as they change the balancing and as they change the meta up that would improve things a lot like the occultist boots giving 14 move speed i still have a couple of those and those are probably going to go for a decent amount of money especially if you have um higher tier ones People are going to want the higher tier ones of those with that move speed on it. And that is detrimental to game balance. And they aren't actually, they don't actually have all the tools they need to balance the game right now because they changed something and then those old items still stay in the game. That is a problem. And I know I'm probably asking for something that would be really hard on the back end because they've definitely thought of this already and they're not doing it for some reason. So there might be something put together there in a way that makes that extremely difficult, but that's what needs to be done. Some some time needs to be invested in that. And if they had that system where they could remove these items after just a little bit, then it's like, okay, game's ruined for no more than two days at a time. If it's actually that bad a change, it wouldn't be a problem at all then, because then they could come back after the two days after they fixed it, no big deal. But with it, where it's at currently where you know, you get your plus two items stuck in the rotation and your plus 95 weapon damage on one item. It, that's like, okay, uh, that's going to make people upset a little bit because people want to be able to play the game and they want to be able to compete with the hyper geared chads and not just get stomped in one shot by them every time. And I get that. But once again, blaming Mendo for it. Why, guys? It doesn't make any sense. He doesn't have the power to do any of that. Also, I think a lot of this emotional outrage really does come from past Tarkov players as well, because anyone who played Tarkov before got really burned on that game because they're like, oh yeah, it's going to be continually updated. It's in early access right now. We're going to add 8,000 new features that have never been tried in a video game before that will all make the game super cool. And the developers just way over promised and under delivered and they really just want to cash grab the audience. And so when you come from that to a game that's very similar to that, this is like people are calling this medieval Tarkov and that's what you're used to. Then you kind of have this like built in trauma. You're like, oh no, 
my favorite video game. They're gonna ruin it again. Because they, they just kept doing that with Tarkov. And then these players come over here and they don't understand the developers are actually changing things extremely quickly. And they don't seem to get, okay, this change is temporary. It is not going to last for six months or with some of those bad changes with Tarkov, they've lasted more like six years. And that's just pathetic. What's behind this lever over here? I haven't seen this before. And I'm behind some wood boards. Let's get back here. A lion's head chest, my favorite. Yeah, I think the big takeaway from all of these conversations, though, is the developers really need to work on something so that they can revert the items that are problems after they change the balance. If they could do that, then I think everyone would feel much safer playing this game, not like they wasted a whole bunch of time. And especially with a game like this, where you actually get an advantage from sinking time into it, you get people who are really emotionally invested, who really want to complain on Reddit, and the people who will go to Reddit and complain are the ones who are really emotionally invested. And that's just the way it is. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just the way it is. There's a blue halbeard on, on that table there. Wow, I almost got hit by that. And that is a red one. I don't particularly care to fight him. Let's just not then. Um, I could run the blue halberd. It does look like a pretty good weapon. Let's just drop this guy. I do want to keep the green arming sword though, even though it's trash rolls. Cool, let's run this blue halberd. This is actually one of my favorite weapons to use on fighter. Although it does struggle in doorways. Has very high damage, very good range. It's got a decently good swing pattern for hitting over shields. Which I like. And that second one's a stab, so that's great. And I'm gonna go back to the Mendo topic real quick. So I think another thing with this is a lot of the Redditors didn't like his tone and they're having trouble verbalizing that they did not like his tone for how he was complaining about this. Once again, that is because he is very emotionally charged about this. Um, Mendo used to be a big Apex streamer and that game has very much so fallen from grace. It doesn't have nearly the player base it used to have. And a big reason for that is because they keep choosing these maps in the rotation for the competitive mode that are not competitive viable and they should not be added to the competitive mode but yet they are and so he's once again getting very emotionally invested in a game because his income is tied to it and he's been burnt before with him it doesn't seem so much like with escape from tarkov it's actually with uh, apex legends that his income has been burnt on before and Redditors are going, oh, I don't like his tone, except they're not saying that. They're going, I hate him as a person. He's just, I, 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 I don't get it. I don't, I don't get why he's like this. Also, I really dislike that the, uh, the Reddit mods for the Reddit Dark and Darker are not just removing posts like that in the first place. Because what happens when you start allowing your community to just go ahead and eat people alive like that, then you're going to get this issue where you will remove streamers from the game. They absolutely will not want to play the game when this is the type of community you foster. And that is going to harm the game in the long run because there will be less new players. The less new players we have, the slower our queue times are. And also, I think all of us need to do a little admitting it's kind of fun to beat up on someone who's a little bit newer. That doesn't mean I think I should beat them in every situation, but it's definitely fun to win fights. And when you start not getting new gamers in, then we're going to have a bad time. I think we all want new gamers in this game. And it sounds like we got a portal spawning over here. And the portals don't spawn as many towards the end anymore. It's a little bit more towards the beginning. We'll just leave this guy alone. He 
he ran across the spikes. Let's check back this door. Maybe this door has a portal behind it. There should be one more portal spawning, and it should be up here. Oh, here's a portal. We are all good. Let's just leave on this portal. Don't particularly want to fight the dude in full plate armor. It's probably vendor gear, but I don't really want to. I would almost certainly beat him up with my blue halberd, but let's see. Oh, yeah, we probably got to beat this guy up. He's not particularly good gear. But anyways, guys, if you liked this video and if you want to see more discussion topics, subscribe and tell me down below what discussion topics you would like me to discuss. And if you don't want me to do more of these videos, just comment that below, too. That's fine.